Hey trailers, Jason here with Day Train Fearless. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe. So this is the weekly watch list for April 17th, 2022. Um, so let, we're going to go over S&P EMA futures, uh, NASDAQ, Bitcoin, a um, couple other things, oil and all that. But before we get started, check this out. Make sure you check out my website, daytrainfearless.com to sign up for the $99 lifetime subscription special for the weekly S&P E-mini trade zones. These are zones where I give you resistance, support, open gaps, and open VPOX for the following week uh, trading. You also, in the member section, will receive a two-hour trade zone training video course uh, where I teach you everything about the trade zones, how to draw them uh, so you could trade any stock, future, or cryptocurrency. And you also get the member section with all the resistance support levels and things like that to draw in any chart. So make sure you check it out. Links down below, but right back to the video. Okay. With that being said, let's jump into the weekly watch list. So, um... I was off last weekend. I didn't make a uh, video. I was traveling, but uh, for this weekend, I'm back. And remember, a couple weeks ago, I drew these fibs, right? I said, so watch for a pullback. We kind of pulled right back to the 50 last week, right? Kind of had one update and then we sold off and we've been kind of down here around the 200 uh, EMA and also the 50% level. So do we bounce from here or do we roll back over and go retest the lows? Well, I think what's happening is um, reality starting to set in. Um, inflation um, fears are becoming real. Um, I've been calling this for the last couple months about inflation. Um, as soon as the uh, gas prices went up, I said we were in a recession a while, uh, about a month and a half ago, and I still think it uh, where their oil is still five bucks a gallon where I live. Um, so there's a lot of things going on. Now, with that being said, we are bouncing between the 200 and the 50, right? I think this resolves to the downside. I think uh, our next level will probably be right back here at the 70%, which would be 40 to 55. Um, so those are the things that I'm looking for for maybe a potential bounce it's also right around the low volume node so keep an eye on that um, so that's a, what I think is going to happen here let's take a look at the NQ okay uh, with the NQs we zoom in kind of same exact thing but we are below the 200 and the 50 and even the 50% uh, retracement of this move. And this is kind of a bearish engulfment, right? I think uh, we keep going lower. We're already at the 61% um, on the NQ. So um, I think uh, we may probably come right back to this uh, low volume node right here, which would be about 13,455. So that's what I think is going on with that, uh, with the NQ. Let's take a look at crude oil, CL. Um, crude oil, uh, I actually said, I think we're going to probably bounce, came down to the 50, and now we're going higher. Um, listen, I'm kind of, uh, I, I have no clue. Um, I still, there's part of me where I think we're going to 150, another part of me where I think we're going to 80, right? Right down in this uh, zone. But I said, watch this a couple of weeks ago. If we get there, I think it's a good buy zone. It was the breakout level and also the 200. Um, but you could see came right to the 15, double bottom bounce, maybe a potential W forming, um, which would probably take us all the way up to that 150 level so we will see uh, what's going on there um, in the next couple weeks but let's take a look at uh, BTC Bitcoin guys know I've been bearish on Bitcoin came up to the 127 um, and then kind of reversed 
Uh, I kind of gave levels where, hey, maybe we are going to go higher if we do, but look at this. Look above and fail came back down, and now we're starting to roll back over. Maybe we get down to my 20, uh, 21,000 level. That's my ultimate target on uh, Bitcoin. I think that would be very, very healthy if we grab a Fibonacci extension from this high to this low. Okay, let's draw this. Go there all the way back up and look at how perfect this move is, right? I'm not, I can't even make this stuff up, right? Look at where the 127 is right here, where my line is, uh, the gap, and then the prior lows, right? Um, and then the 1618. So, uh, and look at where the 200 is all the way, way back here, um, at the breakout level. So I'm still watching for that 21,000 level. Uh, let's take a look at gold. Um, gold just kind of chopping around, trying to start to wake up again, uh, make higher highs, um, higher lows, right? We, we were making kind of we try to look, make a lower low here after this mount and then reversed and took out this. I think uh, gold uh, is going to go higher. Uh, SLV, um, same exact thing. I think uh, silver is going to probably retest that 25 level. And then my next level would be up around 26. And that is if the stock market does roll over. So just something to keep your eye on. And then uh, let's take a look at Apple. <clears throat> Apple's starting to roll over. I drew these a couple of weeks ago, came right to the 50. I think uh, maybe even come down a little lower uh, to the 161. Um, like I said, uh, on Thursday, um, an Apple nice bearish reversal right friday is a was a, a holiday um so this is kind of a bearish pattern we are making lower highs lower lows um i told you guys i just thought all this was a dead cap bounce or a bear market rally i've seen this many many times um let's take a look at amzn amazon Okay, um, we've been trading within this huge range, um, could tried to break out. And if you think about it, just draw something like this, keep it simple. Okay, usually if you break out and then you reverse and you come back in, usually you'll uh, roll back over to the lower end. So um, I think uh, I'm kind of bearish on Amazon. All these charts that I'm showing you guys and the reason I go through this is to get a big thing, a kind of bigger picture of the market. Um, lower highs, high, lower high, lower high, lower high, right? Uh, lower low lower low um i think uh tesla watch for a uh, tesla to roll over nasdaq's been very weak and all that so uh hopefully that helps as always thanks for watching um these uh videos and till next time we'll talk to you soon